Are you curious about the Six Sigma Green Belt? Do you want to know whether it's the right career path for you? Or has it been mentioned to you and you just want to learn more about the position, what they do and what this position entails? Well, regardless of why you are here, you'll soon be glad you stopped by. As a project management professional with decades of experience working with different methodologies and frameworks, I thought I'd pull together a video that breaks down as simply as possible all there is to know about the Six Sigma Greenbelt. So in today's video, we'll be covering a very brief overview of the Six Sigma methodology and how the green belt fits within it, exactly what a Six Sigma green belt is, the other belts to be aware of and how the green belt fits within them, the roles and responsibilities of a Six Sigma green belt, the skills and knowledge areas required to be an effective green belt, how much you would expect to earn within this position and much more along the way, such as the certification process. But before we delve deeper into this position, we first need to understand the overarching methodology. Six Sigma is a set of techniques and tools designed to improve processes. Now it was created by engineer Bill Smith at Motorola in 1986. By using data and leveraging statistical analysis, problems can be found and fixed. But for Six Sigma to be practiced in an organization, it requires the employment of trained experts in the Six Sigma techniques to lead projects. Enter the green belt. Imagine walking into a chaotic factory where everything seems out of place. Machines are misaligned, processes are inefficient and employees are frustrated. Now, picture a person stepping in, armed with a unique set of skills and transforming this chaos into a streamlined, efficient operation. This person is a Six Sigma Greenbelt. But in business specific terms, a Six Sigma Greenbelt is a professional who is well trained and versed in the core to advanced elements of Six Sigma methodology. Now they are especially skilled in leading improvement projects, analyzing data and implementing process enhancements. They work collaboratively to reduce defects, improve quality and increase efficiency within organizations. But how do green belts fit within the wider methodology? Now I've mentioned earlier that there are other belts. Now these are the ones you need to be aware of. There are four of them. So Six Sigma uses a belt system to designate expertise and roles within the methodology. So here is a quick overview of each. Firstly, we have the yellow belt. They have a basic understanding of Six Sigma. Now, in terms of responsibilities, they support project teams, assist with data collection and simple improvements. Then we have the green belt, which is what this video is all about and what you likely want to know more about. So they have an intermediate level and deeper knowledge of Six Sigma. We will look at their responsibilities shortly. Then we have black belts. They are advanced practitioners. Now, in terms of responsibilities, black belts lead large projects, mentor green belts and drive significant improvements. And then lastly, there is the master black belt. So they are experts and strategic leaders. So they oversee Six Sigma programs, train and mentor black belts, ensure alignment with business goals, among other things. So with this in mind, let's delve deeper into the green belt's responsibilities, skills and expertise. Now, the primary role of a Six Sigma green belt is to lead and support Six Sigma projects. So their main responsibilities include project leadership. So green belts lead Six Sigma projects, managing them to successful completion. This involves planning, executing and closing projects while ensuring they meet the desired goals. They also have a range of data analysis duties. Collecting and analyzing data to identify areas for improvement is a critical responsibility. They use statistical tools to uncover root causes of problems and validate solutions. Another 
key responsibility is process improvement. So it's all about identifying inefficiencies and implementing solutions. So this can include reducing waste, improving cycle times and enhancing product quality. Collaboration is key for green belts too. So they work closely with black belts, team members and other stakeholders to ensure everyone is aligned and contributing effectively to the project success. There's also a training and mentorship branch to the, the skills and responsibilities of a green belt. So whether that's on tools or techniques, it's all about helping to build a culture of continuous improvement within the organisation. Green belts also have a requirement to provide reports and documentation. Thorough records are essential. Documenting their findings, solutions and impact of their projects, all to ensure transparency and facilitate future improvements. So what does it take to be an effective green belt? Well, to excel, a solid foundation in several key skills and knowledge areas is necessary. Firstly, the DMAIC, sometimes called DMAIC, process is required. So this is an acronym. It stands, it stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve and Control. Now, this is at the heart of Six Sigma. So mastering each phase is crucial for effectively leading improvement projects. I've touched upon st statistical analysis so far, but green belts need to understand various different tools and use them to analyze data, identify trends and validate the effectiveness of solutions. Process mapping is key, helping to visualize and understand current processes. We've got root cause analysis as well. That's also a critical task. Techniques like the five whys and fishbone diagrams are commonly used for this purpose. Change management is also key to green belts. So implementing changes smoothly and effectively requires change management skills. So this will ensure new processes are adopted successfully by the team and organizations. Also lean principles. So combining lean principles with Six Sigma enhances process improvement. So understanding concepts like waste reduction, value steam, stream mapping, and 5S is beneficial. Also project management. So good project management skills are essential. Green belts have to plan, execute, and monitor projects effectively to ensure they stay on track and deliver the desired outcomes. And lastly, communication, being clear and effective is vital. So green belts need to convey complex information in an understandable way to team members and stakeholders. So what is the certification process? How do you become a green belt? Well, becoming certified involves a few key steps. Firstly, training. So you need to complete a Six Sigma green belt training program. That is essential, it is the first step. So these programs typically last from a few weeks to a few months and cover essential Six Sigma tools and methodologies. It's typically an exam involved. So after training, you need to pass a, a certification exam. The exam tests the understanding of Six Sigma concepts, methodologies and tools through multiple choice questions and practical case studies. Project completion. Completing a Six Sigma project is crucial for certification. Green belts apply the DMAIC process to a real world problem, demonstrating their ability to lead and execute an improvement project. Then you get the certification. So upon sex successful completion of training, the exam and the project, green belts receive their cert certification. So this certification is recognized globally and demonstrates proficiency in Six Sigma methodology. Now, any good green belt will also continue their education. So it's also highly just re recommended in general to maintain and enhance skills further. Staying up to date with the latest Six Sigma tools and best practices helps green belts remain effective and opens up opportunities for further advancement, such as pursuing a Six Sigma black belt certification. So at this point, you're probably wondering, well, how much does a Six Sigma green belt earn? Well, in 2022, so this is a little bit dated, this data, the average salary for a Six Sigma green belt in the United States is $110,500. So in terms of a range, it's generally from around $89,000 all the way through to $117,000. Of course, there are always exceptions to this, and it does depend on the industry, the organization, and experience level of the individual. So now I just want to share some real world applications of a Six Sigma green belt. 
So firstly, manufacturing. So in manufacturing, Six Sigma green belts play a pivotal role in improving product quality and operational efficiency. For instance, a green belt might lead a project to reduce defects in an automotive assembly line, resulting in significant cost savings and higher customer satisfaction. In the healthcare industry, Six Sigma green belts help to streamline processes to improve patient care. So an example could be reducing patient wait times in hospital emergency departments by analysing workflow inefficiencies and implementing more efficient procedures. Lastly, the finance industry. So within the finance sector, green belts can enhance processes such as loan approval times or error rates in transaction processing. For example, a green belt might lead a project to reduce the time it takes to process mortgage applications. And that is the Six Sigma Green Belt. I hope this video is useful. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, drop them down below and I'll get back to you. And with that said, best of luck and I hope you have an excellent day.